Hey Latin learners, one of my favorite things in the world is books, so I think we should put a library on the platform we built. Then the villagers will have a place to read. Let's get to it. Henley Vocabulary Lesson 35. Our first word is possum, posse, potui. Think of the word possible, because this word means am able or can. And it's a super important word, so make sure to pay attention to it. Next we have adversus a um. Think of adversity, because this word means facing towards or unfavorable. And this facing towards definition is often used in the sense of like an army facing towards an opposing army. So there's a sort of adversity meaning implied within it. And then we have proximus a um. Think of proximity because this word means nearest or next. Then we have jam, which is a pretty fun word. Oftentimes when we're in a jam, there is a sort of problem and we need a solution quickly. Jam means already or now at that time, meaning a sort of immediately sense. Then we have primum. Even though there's an um at the end of this word, this is actually an adverb, and so it'll always show up as primum. Think of the word prime, as in prime numbers. This word means first. And then we have constituo, constituere, constitui, constitutus. Now, this word is an important word because it has several different looking definitions. And so we need to come up with something that really helps us remember all the possible definitions. One word that actually helps me is the English derivative, which is constitute. Constitute itself has a couple of different definitions. The first one being meaning something like to make up or compose. So I could say roses constitute a small portion of the greater category of flowers. So one small group constitutes a larger group. It makes up or composes, right? And so that's one definition, but we also have establish, which is more of a primary for what we're looking at here. Establish meaning to put something in place, to enact, to make a decision. Constituo means place, set up, decide, or determine. Place is used in the sense of placing a soldier at a certain post. Set up is used as in to set up a camp. And then we have decide and determine, which are similar to our established sort of meaning. All right, now we have consuewi, consuetus. This word sounds similar to persuade in my mind. So when you persuade someone of something, then you sort of get them accustomed to your opinions, right? So consuewi means have accustomed, have become accustomed, or am accustomed. And then we have sententia, sententiae, a nice, easy first declension noun after some hard verbs. Think of the word sentence, because often in sentences we express our opinions. Sententia means opinion or vote. And then we have regio, regionis. You can kind of see the definition in this word because it means region. Then we have omnino. This word looks pretty similar. It looks a lot like our word omnis, which means all, right? This word is an, actually another adverb, so you'll always see omnino. And it means at all, or altogether, or in all. And we have here in parentheses with negatives and with numerals, which show us ways or circumstances in which these definitions will be used. Next we have jubeo, jubere, juicy, jusus. Think of a jury, as in a court, because jubeo means order or command. And then we have apportet, apportere, opportuit. Think of the word opportunity, because apportet means it behooves. And here we have some other examples of 
what exactly it behooves means. It behooves basically means should, or it is proper, or it is necessary. And this lesson will teach you all about how to use this word. But make sure to practice memorizing it right now and all of its principal parts so that you'll be ready when you come across it in this lesson. And our final word is Timor Timoris. Think of timid, because Timor, kind of similar to some verbs we've learned in the past, means fear. For the second floor of our library, we need tons of books and lots of plants too. Oh, it's gonna look so good. All right, let's see if we can go back and remember these words. Our first word is possum, posse, potui, which means am able or can. Then we have adversus aum. Remember we thought of adversity? Because this means facing towards or unfavorable. Then we have proximus aum, which means nearest or next. And we have jam, which is a fun one. And it means already or now. Then we have primum which means first. Constituo, constituere, constitui, constitutus. Remember we have four definitions for this one. See if you can remember them all. We have place, set up, decide, and determine. Great job. Now we have consuewi, consuetus, which means have accustomed, or have become accustomed, or am accustomed. Then we have sententia, which means opinion or vote. Regio, regionis, which we can see right there before us, region. <laughs> then we have omnino, which is a familiar word at all, all together, or in all. It's a spin-off of our original omnis, right? Then we have jubeo, jubere, jussi, jussus. Remember we thought of jury, because this word means order or command. Then we have apportet, apportere, opportuit which means it behooves, it should, is proper, it is necessary. All sorts of options. And then we have Timor Timoris, which means fear. Okay, I'm going to be in this library 24 seven. It's so cool. I can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.